Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, we are going to solve some of the SQL interview questions asked by Microsoft, Salesforce and other palm companies. So let's start with our first question. So our first question read, you are given a data set of health inspection and we need to count the number of violation in an inspection in Roxane Cafe. Okay, and for each year, if an inspection resulted in a violation, there will be a value in the violation ID. So when there will be a violation, then only we will get a value in violation ID column. And we need to output the number of violation by year in ascending order. Okay, and the table we are going to use here is SF restaurant health violation. So let's see our data first. So in our table, we have business ID, business name, business address. And as you can see, we have a bunch of other columns here. And if we go to the violation ID, then you can see here we have some of the values here and where there is no violation, we have null here. So what we will do here, we will count only those rows where our violation ID is not null. Okay, because uh, where it is null, it means there is no violation. So we need to show the number of violation by year. So what we will do here, we will select inspection date. So the inspection date is in date format. So we need to extract year from this date column. So what we will do, we will apply year function and then we will give it an alias. So we are using year function on inspection date and then we are giving it an alias as year. Okay, and then we will count the total number of inspection ID and we will give it an alias as number of inspection from our table as a restaurant health violation okay and it is mentioned in our question that we need to check it for roxane cafe so we will apply this filter where business name is equal to roxane cafe and violation id is not null so where our violation id is not null it means we are excluding those rows where there is no violation okay and since we are using aggregation function here count on inspection id now we need to use group by so we will use group by inspection date and then we are ordering by inspection date in ascending order so let's run this query so i'll execute it real quick okay so now as you can see we have year and we have number of inspection where there was violation so in like you can see in year 2015 there were total five violation in 2016 there were total two and in 2018 there were total three so our second question is find the total number of downloads for paying and non-paying users by date okay so we need to find the total number of downloads for paying and non-paying users so we need to include only records where non-paying customers have more downloads than paying customer so in the output we should have three columns date, non-paying downloads and paying downloads and we need to sort our data by earliest date first. Okay, so we have total three tables here, MS user dimension, MS account dimension and then MS download facts. Okay, so let's check our data. So in our first table, if I execute this code, we have user ID and account ID. Okay, so in our second table, we have account ID and paying customer. Now, as you can see, this account ID is common in these two tables, MS user dimension and then MS account dimension. So in order to join these two tables, we will use account ID. So we will perform join on account ID. Okay. So now moving to our third table, which is MS download fact. So in this table, we have date, we have user ID and we have total number of downloads. Okay. And as you can see, user ID is common in our MS account dimension and MS download fact. So we will perform join on user ID. So now what we will do, we will create a common table expression here and we will select date and then what we need to do. So we are applying the case statement case when paying customer is equal to yes, then we need to do some of the downloads. Okay. And we will give name paying. Now our second condition is when case, when our paying customer is equal to no, then only we will do the sum of the downloads and we will re and we will give it an alias as non paying. So if we go to our second table account dimension, you can see here we have 
paying customer as no or yes against each account id so what we need to do here we need to do some of downloads and downloads will come from our this table okay so we'll execute this here we have total number of downloads and on the basis of user id we are performing join so as you can see here select from ms user dimension we we have given this table alias as a then we are performing inner join on our this table on a dot account id is equal to b dot account id so b is our ms account dimension and then we are again performing inner join here our third table is ms download facts which is c and we are performing join on a dot user id is equal to c dot user id so now what we will do here is we are we are selecting date then we are summing the downloads and we are summing the downloads only when paying customer is equal to yes if it is no then we will sum the downloads and we will we will give it an alias as not paying okay so this is the code inside the cte now what we need to do in question you can see we need to fetch only three columns date non paying downloads and paying downloads okay and we need to sort it by the earliest date so what we will do here now we will select date non paying and paying from the cte and we are applying this condition where non paying minus paying is greater than 0 so here as you can see in our question include only records where non paying customer have more downloads than paying customers so we'll subtract paying from non paying and if it is greater than 0 then it means the non paying downloads are greater than paying downloads so we are applying this condition where non paying minus paying is greater than 0 and then we are ordering this by date in ascending order so we'll run this code real quick now as you can see here we have got the date non paying and paying and you can also see here the value in non paying is greater than paying so here you can see that we have total 15 downloads from non paying user and total downloads from paying users is 14 okay so this was our second question now moving to our third question so third question reads classify each business as either a restaurant cafe school or other so a restaurant should have the word restaurant in the business name for cafes either it should be cafe or we can have this cafe or coffee so if these three are in the business name then we can give this cafe value okay and if it is school and if we have a school in the business name then what we will give it school okay and all other business should be classified as other so if our business name is not like restaurant and in these three cafes or coffee or in school then what we will do then we will give value other okay and after that we need to output the business name and the calculated classification so what we are doing we are selecting distinct business name from this table as a restaurant health violation okay and then what we will do here so let's see our data first okay so select star from then our table name is as a restaurant so now as you can see here we have business name so in this first row we have school in this value so we will give value school here in business type okay and if uh, you can see here in the second value we have restaurant so we can give it the value restaurant and in third row we don't have cafe coffee restaurant or school then it will be then here it will get the value others okay so now what we are doing here we are selecting business name from this table as a restaurant health violation and we are using case statement here so when business name so when our business name column like percent school percent so why we are applying percent here so it means there could be any number of characters before school or there could be any number of character after school as you can see in our first row there are three words before school so in order to make this value match with our this is cool we are using percent before and after because sometime there could be any value before school or after school okay so when business name is like school 
percent spool percent then it should be spool okay and when our business name like rest percent restaurant percent then we will give value restaurant and when our business name like cafe or it may be this cafe or it may be coffee then we will give cafe and if we have values in business name from these three values then we will give it name cafe okay or else other and s and then we are giving it this column a name business type so let's run this query real quick so now as you can see we have business name and business type here and as you can see where business name is not like school restaurant cafe or coffee then it has provided the value other where we have restaurant then it has given the name restaurant when it is it has cafe then it is providing the value cafe in business type so now we have solved our third question as well hope you have enjoyed this video thank you for watching